Welcome to PC Words Kids Tech Talk. Many of you guys have been asking me about Windows 7 themes and patching and all this stuff. Well, I've gone to uxstyle.com. They have a driver utility that is compatible with 32-bit of Windows 7 and 64-bit. It modifies and prepares your system for installing things. Warning, you're on your own if you do this, okay? Use at your own risk. I'm going to show you what I did on my test system here so you can see how I customize it. So for example, you've got the blue orb uh, regular uh, theme here with Windows Arrow and uh, I'm going to change this to a different theme and even it changes the start button. Okay, So there are websites out there that will show you different themes and I'm going to change it to this one here, the skull theme. Okay, First things first that I did is I went to uxstyle.com and they have a free uh, version basically of the utility that's in beta and I downloaded both the 32-bit and the 64-bit and I installed the 64-bit because I'm running Windows 7 64-bit that's what this is for and it changes a few system files and prepares it so that way you can customize your system. In the Windows backslash resources backslash themes folder that's where all the default themes that come with Windows 7's are right so you download your own custom theme from a website such as this one here that I went to and you extract the zip file after you find the theme that you like okay so you search through the themes find the one you like extract it put it into that themes folder the windows slash resources slash themes folder and uh, basically you'll be able to use it I went to uh, divine art dot com and did a search in there and found a theme okay that they said worked with the final release of Windows 7 and that was stable so I said okay let's try it on my test system here it's the skull theme so I went ahead read the instructions figured out okay this is straightforward I can do it and um, downloaded the package it's not very big it's only 16 megs or 15 megs no big deal extracted it into the themes folder and um, it came with some instructions and not only did it come with a theme, but it came with an explore.exe file that I need to replace my existing one. So in Windows, in your personalization options for your themes, you would basically install the theme and it, it would appear in here, okay, when you extract it into that themes folder. Not only will it um, change the look and feel of your colors and all that, but the intent of this theme is to also change your start button, to change the minimize, the maximize, and the close button, so you can see how cool that is, see how it hides itself and disappears, but when you hover over it, it appears like that. That's pretty cool. The explore.exe that this theme came with, basically first things first, I backed up the existing explore.exe, so always make a backup, always do a restore point, to back things up just in case things go wrong. Many times things go wrong when you change and customize themes like this, so um, that's why I'm saying it's risky to do these types of changes. One thing that I had to do was go into the security of the explore.exe and take ownership of this explore.exe so that way I can back it up and replace it. So um, basically this is how I did it. I went in, selected it, went into the properties, went into the security options for it, changed the owner, made sure that I had full control so my user ID when I log into Windows has full control to back up and uh, basically rename explore.exe and uh, after I did that I replaced it with the explore.exe that came with the skull theme and then that's it the skull appeared after I rebooted my machine I had the nice little system with this uh, new look and feel for the start button and the um, maximize, minimize, and all that stuff. So anyways, I thought I'd share it with you. Hope you liked the video, and thank you for watching.